Now let's go back to the same image that we had in the beginning of, beginning of this section. This is a, an album cover by Lady Gaga, Born This Way, besides being completely pornographic. Um, these two symbols here. So we're going to concentrate on this symbol. This is 666, and let me try and prove that to you. So we understand now she's using the eye of of Lucifer, eye of Horus, and she's using this in conjunction with the 666 sign. So you can understand Horus and Lucifer are synonymous, therefore this is 666, this is the mark of the beast, a satanic sign, and that connection is made. So look at how much it's being perpetrated. Cross genre again, Lady Gaga and Beyonce collaborating on videos. They can do it uh, to look like a an Eastern religion. We'll see that in the later section of this plate. You can see Beyonce and Lady Gaga and all of the dancers programming. Look at this. An album cover, Justin Timberlake. Again, artists copying artists. These are not artists at all. These are puppets and ministers for the religion of Lucifer. It's obvious. Now again, we have a top hat and this dual symbolism, black and white. You'll see that later in the last section of this, understanding that uh, checkerboard, that Masonic checkerboard. Um, and you can see here, now this is being used as a, in a sexual connotation. Any which way that they can do it, they will show you that. So 666, and of course the female part with the male part, and this is a movie by Justin Timberlake, Friends with Benefits. So promoting fornication and all of this. Yeah, it sounds funny, uh, but I'm telling you, we have something to understand and realize in morality, that there is a soul at stake, and Jesus did teach all of this. Uh, in addition to him being the only way of salvation. Um, now we have him doing the 666 sign here. Uh, another Disney product, which is Christina Aguilera. There is the 666 sign. And then, of course, she does all the other signs to distinguish her eye. Moving on, Britney Spears, the third Brit, uh, Disney product. You can see the, the dancers doing the same thing. They are programmed to do this. They do this by choreography, not by being an artist. The industry does this. Christina, or Britney Spears' sister. So it's all in the family. It's all in a bloodline. They are children that grow up in this religion. And their children are the ones on the stage. As we have children in our churches and we go to churches in the open, there is no church of Lucifer or church of Satan. Therefore, their children grow up in the world and their children become the stage actors and actresses to indoctrinate you. And you are completely unaware of it. Madonna. And so you can understand now this sort of Eastern style of this mudra being done. And there is Shakira and this mudra being done. And that reference to Buddhism, Hinduism, they have a similar mudra. You can see that similar mudra there. And these mudras, again, enlightenment, wisdom, that type of symbology. But I'm going to tell you and I'll show you uh, the roots of Hinduism, uh, the roots of Buddhism, which stem from Hinduism. Buddha was a Hindu. And we'll get into that later. I'm not knocking the religion. I'm just calling out it out for what it is. And you can believe this or not. It is up to you. Now, this is key. We have a fashion shoot with the 666 sign. You can see here, Novus Ordo Seclorum. That is the New World Order. You have here the Eye of Lucifer. You have here Anunnaki. I believe these are lightning bolts, I'm not sure. But Anunnaki refers to the, the, the Sumerian gods, those who from heaven came, uh, and that is the definition of the Anunnaki. The only book in the world that's going to tell you those who from heaven came were the fallen angels. And so this doctrine of fallen angels going into Hinduism, which is the deity worship on a grand scale, they have millions of deities, and you can see that these this ancient religion Mystery religions now with a triangle moving along and showing you the 666 sign any which way that they can, um, how well it's, it's programmed into society. They know exactly what they're doing. Those who do this 
fashion shoot know what they're doing. And so not only do they know what they're doing, uh, this is a religion being perpetrated on you. You have to realize that. I mean, we, uh, before I was, uh, believe what I believed, I was like, man, you know, what are you trying to push religion on me for? Look at the religion being pushed onto you and realize that, that your idea of, you know, people pushing religion onto you uh, is not tolerated. Look at what is being tolerated by the masses and understanding that it's religion. Here's Bono again. And look at all of the young actors doing this. This is one of the most famous actors on the planet, Johnny Depp. Leonardo DiCaprio as a young boy. Look what they're doing. Continuing on. This is uh, Muse or, oh gosh, no, 30 Seconds to Mars. One of those two. Uh, Jared Leto, I think it's 30 Seconds to Mars. Do you see the eye? Who in their right mind puts an OK symbol in the eye? This is a variant of that. Saluting 666 or Satan. It's clear. Please understand what the interpretation is and know that that's what's going on. Don't like, let your mind have that wall in it and say, oh, no, they can catch these guys doing anything. Come on. Realize it. Understand it. And realize you're being played. You are getting played like a dummy on the outside world. This is uh, Tyra Banks. Another variant of that. You think she's not doing it. It's clear. Look at it. This is, she was in the Olympic 2012 ceremony, ceremony uh, closing ceremonies. Uh, Jesse J, I believe her name is. Fergie. The same actors and actresses doing the same thing. The same puppets doing the same thing. They've sold out. They've been bred from a young child to do this and be ministers this way. Here's LL Cool J and the Eye of CBS. And you can see that this is 2012 Grammy Awards. Clear. Please, people, understand what's going on on this level.